Here we are uh, again with uh, some more uh, some more programming with loops to do uh, today. Again, we 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 we've hit one of these and we know or should know exactly or at least partially what a loop will do and how we can use that. Today we're moving on to, to lesson seven, which is sticker art with loops. Uh, worked through this myself just a few minutes ago and really enjoyed this. There's some there's some fun creative um, work that you can be doing here in this uh, in this lesson. This one doesn't start with a video, which is nice for those of you that don't enjoy watching the videos. But let's click in there and take a look. This is our first activity, and you can see it's a whole string of just activities. There's no challenge puzzle in this one, uh, and there's a bunch of blocks that, or a bunch of lessons that kind of build on each other. So this one's kind of a fun way to just do a little exploring and dive deep into how we can do some fun little things in um, in this code. One of the biggest things that I can all, that I'll always say anytime we're working with code is reading the directions. It's huge. If you're reading the directions, you're going to be all right. This one said the artist is in the wrong spot. Use the jump to two, jump to 200 over 200 down uh, block to get the artist in the center of the player. Then draw a 50 pixels line. Use it uh, with the move forward by 50 pixels block. So all we got to do is bring in a, a jump to uh, jump to 200 over 200 down and then a move forward 50 pixels that's what they asked us to do so if we click run we got through the puzzle not too bad right so uh, obviously we'll click continue and keep building on that with with subsequent um, activities so this one wants you to use a repeat repeat block we've talked about repeat blocks before we know what they do so drag that repeat block put that in uh, put that code in the repeat block, and now you've got something that's going to happen over and over again. We're going to flash forward a little bit to the, the final lesson, lesson 12. And you can see I just finished lesson 12, which is amazing. When you get this screen, when this screen pops up, when you get to lesson 12, talked about it a few times, don't click continue here because we want your screenshot, right? So click the keep playing button. Now you got uh, the ability to take a screenshot that includes both your completed progress bar, look at all that green, and the code that you wrote for this uh, last lesson, which uh, last activity, which is what we're looking for. We want to see the code. We want to see the completed progress bar. So make sure that we get that screenshot with both of those things together. You click reset. We talked about this last time too. And you run it again. This is a lot of fun Mr. Emerson had here. Click that finish. And then if you accidentally click continue, don't panic. Everything should be okay. If we use the browser window and click that back button in our browser window, that should bring us back to our lesson with our code still there and our progress bar still there, which is exactly what we want. Now we can take our screenshot, submit it to the exit ticket, and we're ready to go. Excited to see the patterns you draw, the fun that you have with this sticker art with loops. I know I had some fun, so hopefully you'll have some fun as well. Can't wait to see what you guys do.